Hello peoples, welcome back to Sky Factory episode 34, I think. Look at all these happy farm animals. So the game is loading up, I actually uninstalled and reinstalled the whole thing. But I kept my save files, I made a backup and just transplanted it into the newly reinstalled Sky Factory files. And every, everything is mostly in place. Just had to... oh jeez. Just have to reconfigure some buttons like sprint. Uh, E was inventory there and I don't want that. I could go down and find it and remove it. Should be easy to figure out. Yes, maybe. Maybe I don't have sprint bound. Oh, this is bad. Well, I just won't sprint. Maybe I can, yeah, I can still double tap. So let's start out the episode with maybe a uh, chance cube. I'll have to grab my materials from here, but eh, what are you gonna do? One, two, three, four, five, six. Uh, that's enough, right? Okay. Just make it like this, and I'm also going to try and... Whoa! Hey, that's cute! Sans cubes are covered in hearts for Valentine's Day. <laughs> that's awesome. So I'm going to try and get as much work as I can done in maybe less than an hour, because I have something else to do. Uh, I want to grow Minichio to get Lapis Seed, so I can grow Lapis for chance cube things. But the main thing is... Well, the next step in the achievement book, if you remember, I need to get a something, diamond seeds. For that, I need a stronger infusion stone. I forgot what I just said. So, there's the chance cube. I'm going to bust it. Hopefully, you not die. <laughs> Still have these signs up. Uh, oh, my gods. Are you serious right now? Whoa. <laughs> this is just what I needed. That is fantastically lucky. Well then, this cuts a lot of time off. Uh, hmm, something happened. I can't open my inventory now. I tried resetting to controls. Where is open inventory? Bobble's inventory. Use any sprint block. Inventory sorting. Inventory B. What, what is this? It's red because there's another function bound to that button. But what is it? Belt? Tinker's Construct Belt? What? Well, I'll just change Bobbles back on. Jetpacks, multiplayer movements, miscellaneous, generate map, inventory, there it is, B, and that should bring it back. There we go. So, I need... What? North Star? Oh no, it's just renamed North Star. Here, watch this. I'll just look up Nether Star. Uh, where are you, Nether Star? Is it over here? There it is. Another star 399. 399 is the Minecraft uh, ID number, and this one is just renamed North Star 399. So it's actually a Nether Star. It even has the same uses. So there you go. It's a, it's a Nether Star named North Star. So what I can do with this is. Where's the thing I want to do with it? 8, 9. I want to craft an extreme infusion stone. This, an extreme infusion stone, is required to make diamond seeds. Besides this, I also need unstable ingots. Hmm. You know, I might still have to defeat the wither. How do I get this? Uh, division sigil, of course. I think that's the only way. Blah, 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 blah. I already it. It just tells you how they're used and what they are like. Okay, so go back a step. Not this, not this. Uh, back, you. What am I doing? Wait a second. Oh, hang on. Unstable, unstable, stable. There we go, that's what I want. So how do I get Division Sigil? Strange mystical item. Is found in dungeon chests. Well, that's gonna be hard to find since there's no dungeons in this world. Can only be done by ancient method activation ritual. Once it, uh, blah, blah. Then it tells you how to use it. Spoilers, if you wish to get detailed instructions. Okay. And, yeah, that's all I know. Dungeon chest. Hmm. Should I go exploring the nether, or should I start building my... Oh, let me put this away. Well, go exploring the nether, or build a wither battle chamber. I think I'll do that, because that's what I was thinking about doing. 
Uh, I've spent like the whole week thinking, hey, how can I get the nether star from the wither? I gotta put this star in a safe place. Alright, uh, ooh, this is getting quite full. Almost got enough minutio for the lapis seeds, that's good. Okay, so let me get some materials, head into the nether, and get started on building and resume. Okay, here we are in the nether. It's spooky, dark, deathly abyss that is the nether. So I just got here, I put down some wood slabs, which occupy the bottom half of a, I guess the space a cube would occupy. This will prevent anything from spawning in that space. This includes the top of the nether portal. I really don't want pigmen spawning here, and I especially don't want hostile mobs like slimes, uh, wither skeletons, and who knows what else, maybe modded mobs to show up and ruin my day. So I figure I'm going to build out some whales, and then this will give me enough space to work with to start building my nether, no, my wither battle box. I, I need to, <laughs> I need to settle on a name. Let's see. I uh, well maybe I. Can, not sure if I want to count the squares of how far it is. That's usually a thing I do, but I'll do it anyways. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, let's go 5 more, even 20, 1, 2, 2, 3, 3, 4, 4, 5, 5, and I really don't like building here because if I die, th it might be nearly impossible to get my stuff back because I can't put down a water stream to swim down to swim back up because water just evaporates in the nether. I thought about it, but maybe I can also use a... Uh, different kind of liquid that might not disappear in the nether. Alright, so I think I'll make a doorway right here. Which means I need to put a sideways thing on it. Or I can just temporarily do this. Yeah, this will be a... Okay, just pretend this is empty space and the empty space is solid space. <laughs> Sorry, it's kind of backwards. So what I'm going to do is build out like this. I'm using chiseled obsidian as a building material. Oh, I should have left... Well, that's okay. I can leave this one up. It goes there. This goes on top of it. Yes, can I? Just like that. Great. Okay, and this is my doorway into the big old chamber. So, apparently, you cannot use a microblocks saw. Here it is on straight obsidian to cut it into pieces, but you can chisel obsidian into a different color and then you can use the microblock saw on that new colored obsidian. That's kind of uh, interesting. So, oh and let me see. Actually, I don't think I can put the slabs in here. No, I can't. I'm thinking that there's a chisel variation of the obsidian that looks close enough to original obsidian that you can use in case you actually wanted to use obsidian microblocks. Okay, so can I put uh, torches on this on any side? Shift, right click. I want some light in here. I also don't want mobs. Uh, glowstone micro blocks might work. Uh, okay, so I think the entire chamber might be. Let me think. Uh, depends on what it looks like. I'll try 20 by 20 first. So that and that. I'm trying to be extra careful here. So this will go 10 blocks this way, and then 10 blocks this way. Let me uh, build the entire bottom floor, and I'll get back to you. Well, I'm out of obsidian blocks, so I guess I'll resume here. Okay, here's the doorway. I'm gonna make it better at some point. Anyway, and here is, I guess, the first uh, third of the platform. It's gonna continue out this way. Maybe six or seven blocks. One, two, three, four. I'm gonna have it, gonna have it an even square. So I'm gonna have also walls in here, and it's all made of obsidian because the wither likes to shoot exploding wither skulls at me and blow up the terrain. And I really don't want that because the items he drops, well, they could fall into the abyss of nothingness. So I want a highly resist blast resistant material like obsidian to build this all out of. Uh, okay. What did, did I just say? I'm gonna have walls. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna build have walls here, of course. Maybe I'll build them out of panels and stuff, so the thickness here isn't as thick. That means I'll have more room to move around on the edges of the room. Also thinking of having pillars in the corners like this, 
just imagine that going a bit higher. Let me see if I can do this. Like, yeah. Like right here in this corner, I'll have a pillar to hide behind and maybe eat some food and regenerate health. I think that'll be extra useful. So, like, if he's focusing me, I can hide around something and be safe for a little bit. Maybe I can prepare my... Maybe I can draw my arrow... My, draw my bow back and jump out from behind it and shoot him with it. I don't know. Hopefully it works. Also, I'm thinking of adding extra layers to this. Like, uh, let's use this as an example. Yeah, I think that'll work. Where's my axe? There it is. Uh, that was a bad example. Good job, self. Okay, that, 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 and uh, that. So basically, up here would be like another entire layer of the place, just in case he somehow destroys the floor. And I need somewhere else for the loot that he drops to fall onto. And one more thing, I'm gonna have in the exact center of the place, from the top and bottom, the sides, and the back and front, like in the exact center, I'm gonna have a destructible platform. Because when you summon the Wither, it'll, he's invincible for a short while, while his health, I guess, while, while it fills? Yeah, and then once it is full, he explodes, and then that's when he, he becomes attackable, and he starts attacking you and the things that you love. And I want to do it that way because I don't want him to destroy this floor here. I'm not sure if that explosion would destroy obsidian, is why. And I want to have the room uh, as big as it is, because I think if you like hit the wither enough against walls and things, he destroys it. Uh, you may have seen it in, if you've seen someone else fight a wither. So if he's up against a wall and he keeps getting hit, then I guess he destroys the blocks next to him to make some room or something. And I don't want him to, to destroy the walls of this uh, wither prison. I guess that's what I could, could call it. Oh shoot, freaking ore excavator is not working correctly. I have to... <laughs> well, I have to rebind those keys. Anyways, well, I think that's pretty much it. Uh, I don't have much time left until the thing I have to do today, but this is what I'll be doing next time. Fighting the Wither in this hopefully completed, or mostly completed, box. Uh, I wonder if I have to actually add a roof to it, maybe, just to be safe. And, yeah, I'll have to get work to work on farming lots of obsidian, because I just ran out and this is roughly how much I get. I uh, lost some pieces to the void. Anyways, this has been episode 33, I think I said. I'm not going to bother to check. Anyways, this has been Sky Factory. If you like this video, if you like uh, scary wither, scary nether abysses, leave a like. And if you want to follow along with this series or anything else on my channel, you can subscribe as well or check out my playlists. Okay, till next time, when I maybe f do some more work on this or if I'm already done. Fight the wither. Okay, till then, be swell, stay well, and farewell.